Um, this is Learning Blade Take Two, how to sign up for our online STEAM class. So through Learning Blade um, to access those materials. The first time we had some issues because some of our lottery kids couldn't get in. And so anyway, uh, we're gonna ignore those other directions and start fresh from here. So first of all, um, I think in the other directions, I said to go through the portal. We do not go through the portal, okay? Stop, don't do it. So in the portal, there's Learning Blade, but because you guys are online virtual students, um, that is not gonna work for you. So do not go through the portal, okay? So uh, what you're gonna do, and I posted this in Schoology to the link. So you're gonna click, it says click here for the Learning Blade self sign up website. So this is the site you need to go to. So if you click that, um, it will take you to this, okay? And then our class code is 2A, oh, lowercase though, 2A31, four, two. Okay. And then you hit submit code. All right. And then here you have the class details, Jefferson Middle School virtual, the class name is online steam. And then you're just going to fill out this information. Okay. So um, I'm just going to kind of do this as like pretend. So I'm actually going to fill this out as my daughter. Why not? So her name is Audrey. If you um, your last name is Rose, so you would put your first and your last name, okay? Um, uh, your password, you need to use whatever you are using for your CPS email, okay? So your password for everything. So your password for your email, um, your password to log into the portal, whatever your password is, that's what you need to do. So when you create your password, okay? So your password, again, same as your email, whatever your email is, password for email, do that, okay? Okay, so that's the same as mine. Your username, okay? So your username is going to be, you guessed it, your CPS email, okay? So your 23 um, A, LP or whatever you know your initials are 04, 05, 09, whatever. Okay, so that's going to be that. Okay, you verify a password, so you're going to type in your password again. Password. Okay, and then um, you don't student ID, do not do, don't use that. We're just going to ignore the student ID, so do not do that. Okay, all you need to worry about, first name, last name, password, which is the same as your email password, okay? And verify password and your username, okay? Same as your email, okay? So that's all you really need to worry about. Um, you can select, you guys are in seventh grade, you can select your gender, and then you hit register, okay? And then it says you are now enrolled in your class, please log in using your new username and password. So if you hit okay, oh, uh, what did I make it? So, sorry, was it 23, right? Uh, oh gosh, I just did that, ALP, we go, what did I say guys? Was it 09, 08, okay? And then you type in your password. This is why it's really important to make it the same. Oh, hold on. Oh, what did I make this? Anyways, so uh, whenever you log in, our class should come up, okay? So that's how you do it. Um, and hope that should work, okay? So try that, let me know if it doesn't. And when you log in, you should see our class, okay?